Howdy ho, guys. Junksman. Just tweaking out on my uh, keyboards for a minute. And I got some items pulled for today. Got, uh, let's see, first item of the day is Ozzy Osbourne. This is the coolest item. Diary of a Madman Tour uh, program. It's in mm, fair shape, but... This thing is badass. Today, I realized my ideas and mental images were fitting with my plan. I just released my new album, Diary of a Madman, which was an idea of mine for the last five years. I'm happy to be the success of the debut Blizzard of Oz with tens of thousands of followers. Blah, go on and on, Oz, and I am the only. Ozzy. Badass picture of Ozzy. Kind of sad to sell this. This is the problem with me, or one of my major issues. I uh, <laughs> I buy this stuff in storage auctions because I see it. I see the records. I see the memorabilia. I see, you know, I just have a feeling. I'll see one thing in a storage, and it'll just be this incredible find, and it just keeps happening over and over again. So it's kind of a shame that I haven't documented my past, but, well, I'm doing it now, so, I've, this has happened over and over again, um, I just got these things in a unit last month, but I can take you to items that I have in my collection from five, six, seven, eight years ago that are just incredible finds, look at that, the whole band there, Rip Randy Rhodes, one of the greatest guitarists of all time, Yeah, this is just amazing program. Danny Sarzo. Tommy Aldridge. Amazing drummer. Look at these guys. They're amazing. Look at that back cover. Love Ozzy. Love Black Sabbath. Love 70s rock. Anyway, I'm going to move on. That's a pretty cool one. Uh, so a lot of collectibles over the weekend as uh, fall ramps up I'm going to be selling. So what this is is uh, a Steve Jackson game. It's a card game. In uh, It stands for Illuminati New World Order. It's like, it's like a Magic the Gathering type game or even kind of like Apples to Apples or something. But uh, they've got crazy cards in them like... Uh, I'll show you a couple. Well, jihad. <laughs> I can't get the camera to focus on the. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in. There we go. Play card anytime. Give plus ten power or resistance. Assertive training. Play this card anytime. That kind of stuff. It's all like a, a che cheeky, funny kind of. Uh, I would say. Uh, Evil Dead-esque humor uh, card game by Steve Jackson. And it's based on this original Illuminati. I'm really sad. I would probably get a hell of a kick to play out of this, but it brought $250. So, and this is this other one is the uh, is an expansion. It's still sealed. Uh, Church of the Subgenius. I don't know if anybody's ever... Uh, it was big in the 90s. Um, Church of the Subgenius was... Uh, it's kind of a mockery of... of uh, Judeo Christian kind of not not the not the uh, God part as much as the uh, televangelical stuff and this guy is Bob Dobbs that's their symbol he's the uh, he's like their idol he's like the, the the guy of slack and I even have on my hat I wore my slacker I mean, can't get that in either. Slacker button today. Young, gifted, unemployed. Now, slacker was a term in the 90s. 
uh, it's kind of fallen out of favor. But hey, I'm bringing Slacker back. Hashtag, uh, let's get Slacker trending on YouTube and uh, Twitter. All right, next things. A couple of role-playing games. Uh, Shadowrun Chrome Flesh. This is for the fifth edition of the game. It is a um, book of uh, cybernetics uh, for a near future game. If you're not familiar with Shadowrun, it's a uh, role-playing game of the near future. And the art in here, uh, it's a dystopian but kind of funny future at the same time. So I like a little humor in my dark future because how could you deal with it otherwise? But it's a cool, uh, like, fantasy role-playing game. Uh, here's this, another one, AD&D, Forgotten Realms uh, module, Drow of the Underdark. Uh, now, this is a uh, book about uh, dark elves and uh, amazing artwork in this book. It tells you all about the societies of the Underdark and different uh, things about uh, Forgotten Realms. If you need this, this is from the second edition of the game. Uh, I would pick it up. It's not too expensive. I got $18 for this book, uh, but they're going up. I'm telling you, grab it now, because uh, in two, three years, that'll be a $30, $40 module. Uh, Chrome Flesh, I got 40 bucks for. Uh, oh, the Aussie book, I got uh, 75 for that. So, And I can show you guys pictures of my eBay sales. Okay, and I got a couple of Amazon things. Let's move on. A Martha Stewart uh, VHS tape from the, I don't know when, uh, 90, 18, 1988. It's a, uh, Secrets of Entertaining, a Formal Dinner Party with Martha Stewart. She's very young there. Uh, then I've got a, okay, millennials, don't make fun of me. I did not grow up watching the show, but Naruto, is that how I say it right? Don't, I mean... Give me a break. I'm, I'm, I'm an Xer, not a... I'm a Gen Xer, not a, not a millennial. So, Naruto Road to uh, Bur Baruto or something. Some PS4 game. Don't know anything about it. That's in good shape. I think I got 12 bucks or 13 bucks for that. I got 18 bucks for the Martha Stewart tape because it's probably out of print. Okay. Uh, let's see. Then I got a lot of three... Uh, tape decks, Sony Walkman tape decks right here. Well, one of them's one of them's a Panasonic, but they're all broken. But I got a, uh, I think I got twenty, I get twenty nine or I can't remember if I dropped it down. But they don't work. But highly collectible for parts. So if you get this one right here, this guy in good shape. It's a uh, let's see, uh, WMP one. It's one of the earliest Walkmans. Uh, you can get 100, 150 bucks if you find a good one with that with the headphones. Even higher if you can find one in the box. Um, and uh, that's so that's all my small. Oh, oh, here's another item. Forgot about that. Uh, I didn't think this would sell, but my listing guy was digging because we, 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 we. Uh, he's not here this week. He's on vacation, but we post over here in the shop. And uh, Vincent was digging, this is where he digs over here. And we post on that computer over there. And then we take pictures over here. And so uh, he dug this out. I thought it was, I was going to throw it away, honestly. I, I think I'd actually even put it in the dumpster. I was like, oh, maybe we want it. My wife wanted it or something. And I left it over there. And it's in not very good shape. It's really dinged up. But it's a uh, early 90s Dom Perignon. Uh, Shandan uh, wine bucket and it's I mean it's not in very good condition but it's scuffed up but I guess maybe somebody can clean it up with a pewter or whatever but I got a hundred bucks for that I was gonna throw it away I really didn't think it was good enough quality I mean it, it was at one time in really nice shape but the unit it came out of it was just kind of tossed so anyway uh, okay and then finally we've got Yes, the Respironics. I've got to box this up. Uh, here they're already asking for the tracking number. I don't package on the weekend, so I can have some sort of life with my family. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna box it up and uh, ship it out with insurance. Uh, I don't know. If it's it's not going far, so I'll probably just use FedEx Ground. 
Uh, they didn't request it to be expedited, so why spend the extra money? But yeah, she's going out today with a $2,000 item. So that's my little uh, morning package job, and I'll put it on time lapse. I'm going to pack this stuff up. Oh. Okay, sorry, I uh, ran my time lapses. My time lapse was not uh, quite accurate. I still had to finish the biggin, but I've got them all packaged now. So, whoop. 